Hey everybody, I just wanted to go through and do a quick state of the collection. I don't see my collection changing very much in the near future. Uh, probably at least not for like the next six months. Uh, a lot of these watches you've seen on the channel, uh, I've serviced and repaired several of them on here. Some of them are new. Some of them I had and serviced before I had my channel going. I guess we'll start, we'll just go, uh, left to right and then go to the top so this one here is a Seiko Presage cocktail time get a wrist shot for you do a wrist shot on all these this Seiko was one of the first uh, expensive watches that I bought uh, and one of the first mechanical watches I bought, knowing what mechanical watches were, it took me a while to find a strap I liked this on. But I think this blue fits well with this leather strap here. And this is a new watch, nothing, nothing special or fancy about it. Just the dial was intriguing to me and it was one that I picked out early on in my collection. Next up, this is a Longines, and uh, it's it's been featured on the channel. I did a full service on it. I'll link those videos to these servicings for each one of these in the description. <clears throat> Well, I can't remember the model. Um, it's just blank in my head. I got it wrote down in one of the books. Uh, I've got this one on a, a really nice uh, lizard. Uh, made in USA. I, uh, I prefer my watches smaller. Uh... I've just never really been a big fan of the big watch look. But yeah, this is a beautiful dress watch. And I bought it, you know, I was planning on selling it, and I liked it so much I just ended up keeping it. And this is a mod watch that I built from parts off of eBay and aliexpress i've been wanting to take the seiko off of it and just put my logo there i i have logos that are stick on like that however it's not an nh35 basically the uh 4r35 that's what it was this is the same movement that's inside of the uh the presage here I swim with this watch. I I do whatever with this watch. Um, yeah. But, you know, um, I, I wasn't, like, big into watches when I first made this, so I didn't... I was, like, just practicing the uh, watchmaking and ended up making this and... Actually, the uh, the loom here. I can get this here real quick. The loom is green on the indices and blue on the hands. Uh, you might not be able to see. Yeah, the hands are blue and the indices are green. To be honest, for what the amount of money I have in this watch, it's been really good to me. and get a wrist shot on that one too. And I know. I know what it looks like. Next watch. This is one of my favorites. This here is the Omega Geneve. You can see right there I accidentally took some of the patina off. But this is a beautiful watch with that patina. And there's a video of me servicing this, I believe, or doing something to this on the channel. I did do a full service on this, and I may end up doing it again just because I was relatively new to the 
service and game when I did this one. This one's got a cool function. Well, it's an automatic for one. It's got the quick set date function. Let me take the get out of the danger zone here. Check this out. You just pull the crown out. Isn't that something? My wrist is uh, seven and three quarter inch, or it was. It's probably smaller now. I've been losing some weight. Seven and three quarter inch. I think this is a 34 millimeter. I love this watch. Next up, I bought this watch to go on vacation, a small vacation anyway. I wanted a waterproof watch that I could wear and also remember that summer with. So I went with the Islander uh, Seafoam Green Northport. And it's got the uh, Miyota movement in it. I swim with this watch. It does everything. Thinking about switching over to a white band. Get a wrist shot here for you. Pretty nice watch. I don't think I would buy it again just because the price I paid for it. Alright, up next we have a homage watch. When I bought this watch, I did not realize that there was a Breitling that was very similar. This is the Sujus with the chronograph, the ST1901 is what I believe it is. I wanted a chronograph watch and uh, this one fit the bill. 200 bucks I think I paid for this. It all works and I haven't had any issues out of it. I've wore it several times. I also am thinking about getting an orange strap for this. You know, it's got the flyback. Very cool. Like I said, I didn't know that was a homage watch when I bought it. I didn't find out that until later on. But it's all right, because you probably won't ever see one of those in the wild. <clears throat> That's just an extra band for one of the watches that I'm... Probably this one. It'll go on. Let's start over here. This is my Tudor Black Bay 58. This one is not a homage watch. I bought this at an authorized dealer. Big fan of this. I love the vintage style. I got a lot of vintage watches, but even new watches, I like vintage style. This one doesn't have the T-fit clasp. I wish it did, but I don't do any diving. I wouldn't wear this in the water anyway, even though, you know, it's too expensive to risk water intake. This is one of my favorite watches. This is one of my first uh, new luxury watches that I bought. I didn't really have any reason to buy this other than I wanted it. Um, there was no meaning behind the purchase. 
other than, you know, I wanted to go to an authorized dealer. Like this watch a lot. If you can tell, the more expensive watches have the uh, microfiber around them. And that's less to keep the watches from scratching in the case and more because the case doesn't hold them very good. And I don't want them banging around into other watches. The watches next to them. This watch I did a service on the channel. This is a Vietnam uh, issued Benris. It was a mil spec watch issued to a soldier during the Vietnam War. I just recently put it on this band. I do have the original band that this came on. Let me look real quick. This is the band it was issued on and worn on during the uh, during the dude's tour. <clears throat> I'm the second owner of this. The first owner was the guy it was issued to by the US government. Super low serial number. February 1964-00103. You can see a full service of this watch to see the inside of it on the channel here. Link to that will be in the description. I'm not setting the time right on these, I'm just showing you all the function. This might be my favorite watch. Almost dropped it. It's alright, there's carpet in this room. This might be my favorite watch. It's uh it's very unique. I've actually had somebody ask me about this and when they did, they they had one exactly like it on them at the time, which was crazy. Great watch. This thing is in awesome condition. It's even all original. Well, the band's not original, but I have the original band. I'm not a big fan of the NATO style bands. It's got the original crown on it, even too, with the line. Very cool. Up next is a Hamilton Khaki. I bought that watch to uh, service and sell, and never sold it. I've got it. I've got the original band for this, but this is on a tweed uh, band. I don't really like it. I might take it and put it back on the original. I've had this one for, for, I've had this one for a couple of years. And uh, it just recently quit winding. I took it apart and the, the yoke was damaged on the inside. I didn't record that. That was like a couple of days ago that I did that. I probably should have recorded that, but yeah, it's got quick set. Uh, date function pull it all the way out so I know I'm not in the danger zone all right got quick set date function it's got hacking yeah I got this really cheap because uh, it had some issues with that yoke before when I bought it I thought I fixed it, but it came back. I think it might just be a design with that ETA. I can't remember the numbers, but it's an ETA movement with a weird design. Big fan of this watch. Try to get this without the light. Yep. <clears throat> I need to get another watch box. I got too many watches. This isn't even all of them. This is just all the ones that I wear. I've got two other watch boxes full of watches that I bought and don't wear. I'm not gonna go over those just because I don't wear them. This is my main collection. This is another Hamilton Khaki King. There's a Hamilton khaki, but it's the king variation. Variation. This one's had some wear. 
I wear it all the time, working on stuff, out there working on my car. Uh, this was my first Swiss watch, actually. I was very happy with the quality of this band, especially after buying this Tudor here and realizing how quality this band is in comparison to the Tudor band. To be honest, this one, I don't know. At first, I liked this band better. Uh, I've grown to like the Tudor more. But this one's got a quick set date with the day function also. And you rotate the bezel this way to change the, or the crown that way to change the day. Pretty cool. This is also one of the first watches I bought that had solid end links and a milled clasp. I didn't even know that the milled clasps were a thing until I got this one. Uh, really, you know, my collection as a hobbyist has uh, taught me a lot over the years. <clears throat> i save that one for last. This one I serviced on the channel it's uh, in a car. It's like a 1965. It's just date or uh, time only. I just couldn't see myself getting rid of this one. I liked it. I put it on this black lizard strap. You know, I don't wear it very often. I may end up getting rid of it. And last, my most recent purchase. Okay, the angle changed because my uh, phone was full. This is the Steel and Gold Tudor Black Bay 39. Um, I bought this watch to wear during my wedding. And that's really it. I have, I've wore it, uh, I wore it out of the store, the AD. I wore it once to the family members to show them. This watch feels too nice to have to me. Got a screw down crown, time only, 18 karat gold, whatnot, you know, the Tudor thing. Need to make it tighter. Like I said, I've been losing some weight. This one does have the T-fit clasp. I'll go ahead and show you that because I need to make it tighter anyway. So there's little notches in there. This one has something similar. You just pull this down, push it in, and it makes it tighter. It's a quick adjustment, micro adjustment. Quick change, micro adjustment. Yeah, it's better. So I wanted another notch on this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my collection that I wear. Uh, this is my full rotation. Uh, any given day, I could be wearing any one of these watches. It's hard to say. Usually depends on, you know, what color shirt I have on or whatever. <clears throat> Get you up close so you can check it out. Yeah, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure if you're interested to check out the servicing of this watch, this watch, this watch, and there's some work on this watch. I, th I can't remember what I was doing to this, but this one's, I will service this one soon. It just keeps great time right now, so there's no reason to. 
Uh, but I didn't have all the right oils and stuff when I did this last time. Uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.